really seems like when I'm in Harrisburg, nobody freaking can make a good coffee, a good European coffee. So whenever I'm here in, in New York, I go and I look for an espresso bar just to feel and taste Euro. <laughs> and it's so good, this coffee, espresso. I don't know, Pennsylvania, just catch up with Europe and start making some espresso because this is great. Also, just to feel the New York feeling, I ordered some California panini with avocado and turkey. Another thing that I like to do in, in New York, just because I cannot do in Harrisburg, because Harrisburg is a village with no diversity, uh, I like to sit next to the window and just to watch people. Like, like look at this. Sorry if I cause motion sickness there, but. Are you guys ready to see the Chinese Lunar New Year's Parade? Let's go! What you guys see in here is a celebration for the Chinese New Year, also known as the Lunar New Year. This is China's most important holiday and I'm just glad that I can get a taste of this celebration with the Year of Red. The parade is still going on, but I just realized something that I don't have in Harrisburg. That's Amazon Go. And I, I had no clue that there is Amazon Go here in New York. I thought it's just in Washington State. But you guys know that I need to try it out right now. <laughs> I'm not hungry. Let's just buy a normal Coke. Coke. And uh, now we'll see if I'm stealing or not stealing. I feel like I'm stealing, but I just walk out. And this is mine. Yeah, because as it says in here, just walk out shopping. No lines, no checkout. Amazon. Cheers. Long story short, uh, for my mom. So this is basically a store where you walk in by scanning in your phone and you can pick up anything because there are sensors everywhere and you just pay when you just step out from the store. Now imagine if this store was in a third world country or even in Transylvania in my hometown. A grandma just walks in and there is nobody to explain to her that hey, you need your phone here. And even if there was someone, she would be like ha! Ah!
now that I started with an Italian coffee, a Californian breakfast, a Chinese New Year, let me go and continue my day with a Filipino lunch, because, you know, I heard a lot of good stuff about it. So not too long ago I realized that I like Filipino food, because there's a huge similarity between the Filipino food and the Hungarian food. Oh my god, I had so many great meals that day, but let me just start with this weird green bubble tea. Does it look good? Uh, no. Was it tasty though? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It's weird but good. It's good. It's green. Now let's get to business. The lunch. This is the sizzling sisig. A finely chopped marinated pork. Which kind of really surprised me. Because it was almost as good as this dish. The kare kare. As known as oxtail in a peanut butter sauce. Yeah, we don't eat a lot of peanut butter sauce in Transylvania. But we eat beef. We eat this. It's beefsteak. And the final dish that was ordered is this. Pork in a sweet black bean sauce. This dish is called Humba. You know, the friend of Pumba. <laughs> so I knew that I would not eat everything. Because I just ordered a lot. But this is something that I cannot order or not buy in Harrisburg. So everything, all the leftover will come with me and I will eat this in the next couple of days. There were some really weird new tastes, but I think I'm gonna make these in the future at home. It's 100% that I will make these in the future at home. I love them. There's another restaurant that I need to explore, so... Tipli. Yeah, that restaurant was pretty good, but... I want to try one more restaurant before I go home. Which is pretty... Pretty close to the Filipino restaurant, taste-wise. You would be surprised, but... The Hungarian food is, is almost like the Filipino. But before I will show you the Budapest restaurant, let me show you something that's new down in, the, down in the subway. So the new thing in the subway is that you don't have to buy a metro card anymore. Alright, only if you're not leaving Manhattan, you don't have to use the old boring metro card. Now you can use your watch, or now you can use your phone, or just a touch card, and you can just touch it up and pay it. Actually, it's not the same price, it's a bit less, because when you're buying the metro card, you need to pay an extra $1. But now, you can just use your watch. And there goes that. Something that you can see a lot in New York, but it was actually the first time for me. Now the Hungarian cuisine is pretty famous, but it's not as famous as the Italian or French or, or Chinese. So if I want to eat Hungarian food, I either make it or I either travel to a restaurant called Budapest. Here I can taste food that is just like my grandma's. And here I can also talk to people in my language. <laughs> Oh my god, this is good. I'm crying. <laughs> this is perfect. This is the Hungarian Ritesh with cheese. This is the Hungarian chestnut puree and this is the dobosh which my mom will complain because she makes the best dobosh on the whole universe and this looks a bit... Uh, my mother's dobosh is a lot better. The veal paprika was 23 bucks and all the desserts were about 9 and 8. So... That's the total. Okay, the verdict. Should you visit the Budapest restaurant when you come in Manhattan? Uh, yes. Food was really great. I was a bit upset because when you're coming to a Hungarian restaurant, of course you're gonna eat the kremes, which was icy, as she said. And the dobosh is just like, it's a dobosh, but when, when your mom makes the best dobosh on the whole planet, 
it's really hard to get something similar to it. The chestnut puree was awesome and the retouch was just fresh as she said and that was awesome as well. I want to try more food and if you're coming here just try stuffed cabbage or something that's not something that you eat every single day. Unfortunately a lot of things from the menu we we made those things in the past months. Grill goulash was something that I did not eat for for a long time so that's the update. Verdict? Good. Today I ate so much that I literally feel pain and tomorrow well tomorrow is Super Bowl so it's more eating. And now with that said I think I showed you just enough for the weekend. Even though these vlogs typically are just watched by my family, now that you watched it, well, you're part of the fam too. And yes, you are invited to the next goulash party, but until then, until then, leave me a like button in the comment section below, subscribe with the pink snow shower, and bye-bye. <laughs>